I'm going to solve three problems in the video. The first one, let alpha and beta be roots of a quadratic polynomial x squared minus 2023x plus 1. Define a sequence a of n equals square root of alpha raised to the power n plus square root of beta to the power n. I'm going to prove that all the numbers in the sequence are integers. The second problem, we want to simplify a net state square root, the square root of 2023 plus or minus 45 times square root of 2021 divided by two. The last one, factor the quartic polynomial x to the power 4 minus 2023x squared plus 1. These three problems are closely related. We are going to solve the first one, and the other two are just naturally followed. So it is a deal of buy one, get two free. Before we solve the problem, let's look at the quadratic equation. We may ask, why 2023? Can we replace 2023 with other integers in the quadratic equation? The answer is yes, but not arbitrarily. The previous number we can use is 1934, that was 89 years ago, and uh, we have to wait another 91 years until 2114, we can have it again. It's always worth a try by using quadratic formula and see where we are. Alpha and beta are two positive real numbers, both irrational. The square root, a nested square root, meaning square root of square root then raise to the power n and sum up. This is somewhat ugly, but they are indeed integers. Yes, you, they can be simplified directly with tedious calculations, but we can also figure it out indirectly and nicely. Three techniques will be used in the proof. Vieta's formula, linear recursion, and the mathematical induction. I'm going to prove the sequence A of N is a linear recursive sequence. It satisfies A of N equals 2023 A of N minus two minus A of N minus four for N greater than or equal to five. First, because alpha is a root of the quadratic equation, we have alpha squared minus 2023 alpha plus one equals zero. Replacing alpha with square root of alpha squared, we have square root of alpha to the power of four minus 2023 square root of alpha squared plus one equals zero. As a matter of fact, both square root of alpha and the square root of beta are roots of a quartic equation, x to the power of four minus 2023 x squared plus one equals zero. Multiplying square root of alpha to the power n minus four, we have square root of alpha to the power n minus 2023 square root of alpha to the power n minus two plus square root of alpha to the power n minus four equals zero. This is the equality I just established. Similarly, we can establish an equality for square root of beta. Sum up and using the definition of an, we have 
a n minus 2023 a n minus 2 plus a of n minus 4 equals 0. Or we express a of n as a linear combination of a n minus 2 and a n minus 4. Next part, mathematical induction. A proof using mathematical induction consists of two steps. First, I'm going to prove that a1, a2, a3, and a4 are integers. The first step is the basis of the mathematical induction. The second step, we want to prove that if a of n minus 2 and a of n minus 4 are integers, then a of n is also an integer. However, based on the recursive relation we just established, this is already done. For example, a5 is a linear combination of a3 and a1, it is an integer. a6 is a linear combination of a4 and a2, also an integer. a7 is a linear combination of a5 and a3, but a5, we just proved it is an integer. And on and on. So they are all integers. In other words, the step two is done by the recursive relation we established. The only remaining part is the step one we need to verify these four numbers are integers. These are the four numbers. A1 is square root of alpha plus square root of beta. A2 equals alpha plus beta. A3 equals square root of alpha cubed plus square root of beta cubed. A4 is alpha squared plus beta squared. We are going to prove they are all integers. The verifications of these integers rely on Vieta's formula. Let alpha and beta be the roots of the quadratic equation. Then by Vieta's formula, alpha plus beta equals 2023 and alpha times beta equals one. Immediately, A2 is alpha plus beta, is 2023, which is an integer. Another easy one, a4 equals alpha squared plus beta squared, which can be expressed as alpha plus beta squared minus two alpha beta. Alpha plus beta is 2023 and alpha times beta is one. So a4 is an integer. Remaining two. First, is a1 square root of alpha plus square root of beta an integer? In order to use Vieta's formula, we calculate a1 squared, which is square root of alpha plus square root of beta squared, expand it, alpha plus two times square root of alpha beta plus beta. Alpha plus beta is 2023, alpha times beta is one. This equals 2025, which is a perfect square. Aha. Uh -huh. Therefore, A1, which is 45, an integer. Finally, A3 equals square root of alpha cube plus square root of beta cube. We can factor the sum of two cubes using this formula. And then the first factor square root of alpha plus square root of beta is A1. And alpha plus beta is 2023 and alpha times beta is one. So A3 is also an integer and the job is done. Problem number two, 
simplify square root of alpha and the square root of beta. They are nested square root. As we know, square root of alpha plus square root of beta is 45. Uh, this is just a one. And the square root of alpha times square root of beta equals one. Therefore, by Vieta's formula, square root of alpha and square root of beta are the root of a quadratic polynomial x squared minus 45x plus one. So, square root of alpha and the square root of beta equals a simplified expression that's 45 plus or minus square root of 20, 21 divided by 2 using quadratic formula. Problem 3. Factor the quadratic polynomial x to the power 4 minus 2023x squared plus 1. On one hand, square root of alpha and the square root of beta are roots of a quadratic polynomial x squared minus 45x plus 1. On the other hand, they are roots of the quadratic polynomial. What does that mean? It means the quadratic polynomial x squared minus 45x plus 1 is a factor of the target quartic polynomial. Therefore, we can do the factoring by a long division. We can also do the factoring directly. First, we split the middle term negative 2023x squared into two terms, positive 2x squared and the negative 2025 x squared and the regrouping. And we know 2025 is a perfect square. Uh -huh. Thank you for watching. Please consider to subscribe my channel. I appreciate your support.